Yeah, this is stepping out of my comfort zone for a party look. I'm going to share with you how I got this look, what these lips are all about in this bright, bold color in this video today. So let's get going. Hi, my friends. I am so glad that you are here with me again today. Thanks for joining me. We are going to be recreating this very glam party look. I am so excited because not only am I going to be doing a tutorial for you about this look, but also a good friend of mine, Lisa Monique from Lisa Monique Beauty is joining me to collab with me on this video today. I reached out to her because we have become pretty good friends doing this whole YouTube gig. And Lisa, is one of the most down-to-earth, friendly, outgoing, just easy to talk to people that I have run across here. And she is stunning. She has a natural beauty. When she does her Instagram, by the way, if you're not following her or me on Instagram, take a peek over at our Instagrams, which I'll make sure I leave below. But on Instagram, she does Instagram stories and she usually does them without any makeup on. And I am just enamored with how beautiful her skin is. So her skincare is working really, really well. She is a professional photographer. She knows a lot about photography and the different things that you need to do in order to look really good in pictures, which she has videos of. She just had a video go viral of the mistakes that older women make with their makeup. If you haven't seen that, it's a fantastic video that I'm so excited for her about and I couldn't be happier for her success with that. And her channel has just blown up and she has some great content. So make sure that you go over and check her out. Show her a whole lot of love, you guys. She is a great person, and I think you're gonna thoroughly enjoy her channel. I will make sure everything is listed and linked below. Make sure that you tell her that I sent you over. Now, if you're coming over here from Lisa's channel, I wanna say thank you so much for checking out my video and my channel, and I hope that you do enjoy today's tutorial and that you will take a peek at some of my other their content. I do a ton of different videos across the board. I do a lot of makeup tutorials, a lot of makeup reviews. I do skincare. It's mostly based on makeup for the mature over 50 woman though and how makeup performs on older skin and how we can get the very best out of our makeup. So I do hope that you do decide to subscribe and all my regular subscribers. I love you guys very much and I appreciate everything that you do to support me. I can link the shirt, the necklace, and the earrings today. Yay! Usually I can't link something that I have on, but everything that I have on, I can link today for you guys. I am going to start this tutorial out with my base makeup and my eyebrows already done. But what I will do is I will make sure that I link a video for you on how I do my base makeup. And it's really kind of repetitive after so many times of doing it and you're not really doing anything different. So I just thought I would do that and then we're gonna work with the color and the warming up of the face today. So I hope that you do enjoy this. Let's get into the tutorial so that you can see how I achieved this look with everything drugstore. By the way, everything is very affordable. Everything came from the drugstore that I'm wearing today. Let's get into it. With this look today, the tape is going to be really important for me. Now, if you can do a wing liner on your own, then go ahead and just skip the tape. It's not a big deal. I'm using the That's Taupe palette from ColourPop. I love this. It's very neutral. I don't consider this very cool. I use, I just consider it extremely neutral. And that's what I want for my eyes today. I want my lips to be the focus of this tutorial or this look, this party look today. So we're going to go into this lightest color right here. I'm using a Refer 01 brush. This is just going to be my transition color. And it's going to be kind of a medium tone for me. So if you're deeper than me, make sure that you just pick a medium neutral tone if you're wanting to copy this look. Even though I'm going to be using a very, very bold lip, it's not going to compete. And that's kind of what you want when you want your lips to be more of the focal point of your look. You want your eyes to be just a tiny bit understated, but you still want to play them up. You know, our eyes are the first thing usually people look at when they're looking at us and meeting us. So you still want to play up your eyes. You just want them to be a little bit more subdued than normal. Normally on a more subdued look, I would take my finger, spray my finger with some setting spray, and then put a shimmery color like this color right here in the palette 
on my lid I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna dip it down into that color but What using the brush does is it's gonna subdue it and soften it a little bit And you can continue to build this up as much as you want to or you can keep it very soft It just depends on what you like the best I'm gonna go about two-thirds of the way out with that eyeshadow and bring it up into the crease just before the crease I should say okay now I'm going into the a deeper color a deeper neutral color this is kind of a grayish taupe here with a shader brush from BK Beauty and I'm just going to put this into the crease and shade the crease and a little bit on the outer edge again I am not wanting to make this super stark but with these kind of looks you do need to create shadow and depth or light and shadow to make it look good all right back over to the original brush and i'm just going to put these two colors together really buff them in well now comes the fun part for me i am using a morphe brush i think it says e36 and i'm going to go into the deepest color that is in the palette that's a dark brown this is a very very small very small shader brush almost like a pencil brush without a you know a peak on it or a tip on it it's got more of a rounded tip so this is going to create the wing that i want i've been enjoying having being able to do a wing i just think it's so much fun so i'm going to go right here about midway through my eyelid starting at the eyelid and trailing it through to the tape Build it up just a tiny bit. We're creating that wing. This eye for me always does the wing look better. I don't know why, but it sure does. And this eye always gives me troubles. So just trying to go in here and create it the best I can. So it's going to be a softer looking wing. It's not going to be one that is super stark or dramatic in any way. Now I'm going back with that shader brush with the medium color that I put down into the crease. And I'm just trying to bring those two together so it doesn't look like I have, um, you know, two different colors. It'll just look like one gradient color. When I take the tape off now, you're going to see the little wings, which are great. I want to extend this little wing just a little bit and soften the edge of all of this. All right, so it did pull off some of the concealer. So let's take what I used, which was the um, True Skin Concealer from Catrice. And I don't know what color this is, but I'll make sure that I put it up on the screen for you. All right, so I'm just gonna put back a little bit of what I lost there. And if you want to, this can line out the wing even a little bit more if you want it to. To pull everything together, I want to take the brightest color or the lightest color, I shouldn't say bright, the lightest color that Catrice has in their concealer. I've been doing this for a while now and it just brings so much light to the area. And I'm going to touch that into this corner in here and I'm going to bring a lot of light right straight down through this area. Not out here, I don't want it to mess with the concealer out that way. I just want it to bring a bunch of light into the cavernous area right there where I get so dark. I put it down with the brush first. Now I'm just working it with my finger. Right now I'm gonna take the Refer 2-3 brush, 23 brush. This is the tiniest pencil brush that they have. And I'm going to take that medium or the deeper of the taupe color right here. I'm gonna just put that on my bottom lash line right now to bring the whole look together and then smudging it out. The more you smudge this, the softer your eye look's gonna look. And then I just spend a little bit of time with the brush actually diffusing that little area right there back and forth to make that wing part look cohesive right through there. All right, let's move on to contour bronzer and I'm using the Essence Contouring Duo Palette and this one is in the light, I think it's the light color. There's one that is called for light um, skin tones and one for deeper skin tones pretty sure this is the light one. So I'm just using a fan brush, which I can link for you guys as well. I'm going to go up into the hairline as always and bring that down. One of the things that I feel like is so important for party makeup is that you don't look like a ghost. Uh, you want to look your, your face to look warmed up. You want it to look like it's glowing. But when you use your foundation, you might want to go with a more stay proof foundation. One that is kind of a little bit more matte or or has a long lasting wear to it because you can always bring that glow with highlighter and with setting spray or other products but sometimes you 
if you get too glowy of a foundation by the end of the evening you're going to look like a grease ball so you might want to go with a more matte foundation which is what i've done today a beautiful natural glow i'm going with the Wet n Wild to Reflect Shimmer Palette and I'll have a Cosmo. I have put this in so many videos. I think you guys are probably completely sick of it. But when I want just an absolute beautiful glowing look, I'm gonna reach for that. It leaves this soft lit from within look without having any shine to it. It's just really pretty and it brings so much light doesn't emphasize texture on me. I really like it. And then I chose the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. This is a very natural looking blush. I chose this one because I didn't want it com to compete with the eyes or the, the lips that I'm doing. This is always rosy and I'm going to kind of go a little bit lighter handed than normal with the blush. Just pulling everything together. I'm going to take a little bit of that blush and put it right here up underneath the eyes just a little bit now that i've got all the face products on we want to set that i broke out my beautiful number seven lift and illuminate powder i'm using my sponge and i'm just going to go in and i'm going to just diffuse any pores at all i want this look to be so flawless looking and then i'm going to take the hydrating seal the deal from flower beauty their setting spray i'm going to work with that on this sponge as well. And I'm just gonna press everything in together so that all of this makeup looks seamless together. This is where this whole thing's gonna get interesting because I thought it would be so fun for a party for party makeup to do lashes. I can't do lashes. I've never been able to do lashes with my shaking hands, but I got these magnetic ones because I've been seeing all over the place that magnetic lashes are so easy to do. So you get a liner with it. Okay, I've never used this before, so we shall see how this goes. It's probably gonna leave a little bit thicker of a line than I'm used to. While it's drying, I'm going to use this new mascara that I got. This is from Maybelline. It's called Curl and Bounce. It has a curved wand to it. I have used this a couple times. I do like it. It's um, quite pretty as far as building up on the eye what you need. I'm just putting a small coat of this on my own lashes. I'm going to do the other eye the same as I just did that one. So this one is going to go on this eye. Apparently what this is, is it has like four or five magnets on it. I am really nervous about this. We shall see how this goes. For me, if this works, this will be amazing. Okay, so I'm sitting here working with these, trying to figure out if I'm doing something wrong or what. And I know that I'm shaky and I don't want to make anybody nervous, but I can't make these work. These are from Ardell and... Usually Ardell is a pretty good brand. The kit wasn't super inexpensive, so I'm not sure what's going on here, but this, it's not working at all, which means I have more eyeliner on than I would normally put on my eyes, which is okay, um, but I was really hoping that these would work, and they're just, they're just not. Maybe the magnets aren't strong enough. Maybe I need a better brand. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and enhance my lashes. It was a little disappointing because I really wanted to have false lashes and I can't do regular lashes. So maybe I just need to try others. Have you guys tried other magnetic lashes and that they might work a little bit better for you? So I do have a heavier line on the top with the black than I would normally have, just so you guys know that, but I still think it turned out okay. Next, I'm gonna take my neck. NYX Lip Liner Pencil and Prune, and that is going to give us a fairly stark lip. Again, I can't talk and do this. So. After that, I'm going to use Flower Beauty petal pout lipsticks and this one is in dahlia desire one of my fa favorite favorite bold lip colors little trick here for you blot your lipstick i use a towel because i have always a towel in my lap and then put another coat on 
cutting and then putting that extra coat on is going to make that budge proof. I'm going to be right back with you after I do my hair and put a little jewelry on. Okay, here's your finished look. It came together really well, I think. This bright, bold lip isn't something that I am very comfortable with or that I'd wear every day, but I think that it's really dressy and it can really amp up a party look. If you are here visiting from Lisa Monique's channel, I hope that you did enjoy it and that you decide to subscribe. If everybody wouldn't mind, please giving me a thumbs up. That really does help me out very much. And now I'm headed over to see what Lisa came up with and see her beautiful party look. I can't wait to see what she did. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel and please take care of yourselves. I hope everybody is happy and healthy and we can get together again very soon right here on my next video. Love you guys so much. Goodbye, my friends.